I spend probably average of 25 to 30 hours a week in a truck and the rest of the time I'm in the shop or in the office or out at the new property making sure it's going the way it needs to go. Oh yeah, easy. 100 hour work week. It's long hours, um, long days, you know. We've went two weeks with no sleep. We've, <laughs> we, we've done a lot of things and it's been a learning and a growing experience and I really admire him for his, his drive. He has a heart, and you have to have a heart in this business to stay in it. It's not called the tow life by chance. Working as part of a tow operation is a lifestyle, not simply a job. The long hours require not only dedication, but sacrifice. The sacrifices extend far beyond that of the individual to the family and friends. In this episode of Tow Story, we'll dig into how Morgan's team finds balance in the 24-7, 365 calling. There's times it's very, very tough balancing your home life and work all together because you got to try to juggle it all. And it tends to get pretty rough sometimes. But she's pretty understanding. This is what I was doing when her and I got together. This is what I was doing when we got married. And it's, she's kind of slowly coming to the realization of it's probably what I'm going to do when I'm dying. Anytime that I can, I try to involve my wife. If it's riding in the truck with me to take a tractor trailer to Tulsa, or going to get grandma and grandpa off the side of the road. Anytime that she wants to get in the truck with me, she's more than welcome to. Balance is a funny word. Much like the word equal, it is nearly impossible to achieve in terms of time and between people. Growing up, my dad was an entrepreneur. He started and joined several startups and built them into successful companies. It was a time intensive career. He was also very involved in community and church obligations. On top of it all, he was a dedicated husband and father. Now, being a husband and father myself, I marvel at how he juggled it all. When I first started working with Nick, he told me what his visions were. I told him that I was here to help him, I was going to stand beside him, and I was going to help him do whatever he had visions for. They have come so fast, everything that he wanted to accomplish, we have been accomplishing at a very rapid pace. Kamikaze! Ready to go! You know, I've been been here working part-time, full-time for about 26 years. He makes you feel like family. If he has a problem, he'll come talk to you. You know, he don't ask you to do something he wouldn't do himself. And uh, that's what makes it so nice to work here. We had to uh, get this baby caught on the side of the road. We, we actually roped her out of a cop car and uh, pulled her down and got her down. But she was crossing four lanes of Highway 69 traffic. Bad guy hit three or four times. No one's claimed her yet, but, so we got to get her pinned up here, get her some medicine, get out there, so we can make sure she stays healthy. And this is liable to be a show, like a Mexican standoff here. What are you backing up for? Cowboy up! <laughs> Jay hooked on her, boy. Back <laughs> up. Woo, 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 woo. Oh, 
Calm down. Let her calm down. Ball is heavy. Let her settle down right here. We, we need to take this one out, don't we? And start walking that away with it. If you bring it out, I'll bring it on the inside. You hold that one tight. I'm going to lock it up tight. Bring it out a bit. Up, 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 up. Well, we almost had her. Yeah, baby. Who's your daddy now? <laughs> That's fine. Come on, Doc. <laughs> you think that funny, Jackson? We got her now, don't we? What, are you giving her blood? <laughs> We can give her these medicine and get her healthy. Yeah. Wow. She, she's seen a vet or a cell barn before because she's got a federal ID tag in her ear. Sure. Somebody be hungry too. Yeah. Well, I appreciate y'all. Thank you. He taught by example, but he also put it into words. He said, there's no such thing as balance. Balance requires things equaling out, and that's not going to happen for someone providing for a family. Instead of balance, you want harmony, he said. As long as everything gets the attention it needs at the right time, everything will work out. He didn't compartmentalize work, family, church, and so on. Instead, everything flowed together more fluidly. We've had Jay Hook for nine years. Why is he missing an eye? Huh? Because someone hit him. We think someone hit him and knocked, knocked his eye out with a stick. Yeah, when he was young. Thought someone was trying to break in the record yard and he got him, didn't he? What do you think you're gonna do when you grow up? I don't know. You can be a highway patrolman, you could be a fireman, you could be a record operator. You could work for EMS. You, we could do all these things. You could do anything as long as you put your mind to it, right? No. What do you think you want to be? Yes. Huh? I don't know yet. Hmm. I'll figure it out when I go to college. You'll figure it out when you go to college. Yep. You need to start before then. Okay. Okay, in high school. In high school. Yeah. Uh huh. All right. I love you. I love you too. Nick has become my family. He's become my best friend. We fight like cats and dogs. Everybody says we need marriage counseling, um, but we get along, I think, really great. We have our differences, um, and I'll voice my opinion to him. But it's like I said, I tell him, Nick, just because I'm saying this, I'm saying what I think does not mean I want, won't support you in what you do or what you want done. He didn't make it to all the games, but he made it to the ones that mattered. He made the most out of five minutes here and there. Most of all, he taught me what it meant to work. Things don't just happen on their own, he said. So it is with the towing services industry. It requires a large percentage of your time. So how do you make sure that your priorities don't slip? Do what you can to better integrate your job and your life. Involve your family where appropriate. Make the most out of the time you have with them. Be a real part of the team and make sure to get along with your colleagues because let's face it, they're most likely going to be your best friends. By taking advantage of these opportunities, your perception will change. You'll be more motivated and excited to work because it's with your friends. And at the end of the day, all of the sacrifices you are making is to support those closest to you. How do you find harmony in your busy tow life? 
let us know in the comments below. Best of luck out there, and be safe.